That is a pear pie. Mmm. And along with that is a ginger snap crumb topping. So we're going to make that now. A ginger snap crumb pear pie. Yummy. So now, of course, the first thing we need is the crust. Normally, I'm going to have my daughter or me make the crust. Hey, I got a deep dish crust out of the freezer. Poked it a bit. It's going to go in the oven and par bake. Now we needed some pears. I went to the store and they're not quite in season. I got a mix of two different ones. And those are Bosch and Bartlett pears. So what I'm doing is peeling them which was interesting, cutting them up into pieces for the pie. And I want to make it as even as possible, so I'm going to do one of each so it kind of gets it mixed. You don't end up with you know, a bite full of one. And I'm not entirely sure how many I need. I know I need enough for the pie, but I'm not sure how many pears I actually use. So after I did four pears, two of each, that's it. So I didn't even need the six pairs. I was amazed. That should be more than enough for the for the filling. So into this, that was a quarter teaspoon of salt, half ish teaspoon of ground ginger. I'm trying my best at this point to not have it all come out in one big blob, which isn't easy with ground ginger. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, and my daughter always said never hurts to put a little extra in. That's our homemade vanilla extract too. Thank you, Abby. One tablespoon of lemon juice. I just took it out of the little squeezy lemon. And we're going to mix all these ingredients together yeah that looks good on to the next part that is two-thirds cup of sugar and I gotta reach over for the flour because that is a one-third of a cup of flour. Put the flour away and let's get that all mixed together. It kind of, as I'm doing this, kind of reminds me of, you know, coating fish to deep fry them. Because it's not very liquidy. There's actually a lot of flour and sugar at the bottom. So I had to make sure I mixed it all together so it all stuck to the pears. So here's our pie crust, yummy, nice and golden brown, and we are going to put our pear mixture into the crust, of course. Not really a hard thing to do. So there's our four pears. Look at, I mean, it's actually way up to the top. Well, I always find that fascinating when you go to make things just how little you actually need to make a good dish. So we've got most of our pears on. Now we'll get the rest of them in. I was afraid I was going to overflow the uh, the pie crust. So I didn't quite get all the slices in there. But I am now. It's a beautiful picture of the bowl. And there you go. Let's set that aside for a sec. So on to our next step, which is our ginger snap crumb topping. Out comes my food processor. Get her all set up. And I got a box of ginger snap cookies. I'm not sure how much a cup's going to make, but I'm kind of guessing. I think I overguessed it. So we give it a nice little crush. It doesn't really take long to pulverize those cookies into usable cookie crumbs. Like 30-45 seconds. 
and that's it. I'll take the lid off and check them. So that looks good. Now I gotta figure out how to get the crumbs out of the processor without making a huge mess. So I managed, poured them back into the processor. This is how much I got left. I got pretty well enough for another pie. So there's our one cup of cookie crumbs. And to that we are gonna add a quarter cup of flour and a quarter cup of brown sugar. Let's get the lid on the processor. Let's give her a nice mix. Once again, this doesn't take long at all. Next up is our butter. It's a half a cup. And I kind of just took it right out of the fridge, chopped it up into small pieces. Kept it in the fridge until this point. Put them in. And now the trick is you combine them. I've done it in a bowl without the food processor. I just thought, let's try this and see if it works. And you know, it worked pretty good. Well, this food processor is one of the best things I've ever bought. So here's our pie back ready for the topping and we're ever so carefully gonna pour on what we need Once again I'm not so sure I need that whole mixture right now but we will spread it all around mush it down push it down make it look pretty and I did end up using that whole cup of cookie crumbs that looks nice okay into the oven it goes 350 60 to 70 minutes. If the edges start getting brown the last 15 minutes, put a little tin foil on them. I didn't have that problem. Here we go. Look at that. We're going to let it cool for an hour. And if you want, you can top it with, uh, you can drizzle like a little caramel or make it look fancy. Didn't have any of that. But I'm telling you, this thing smells good. I can't wait to get myself a slice of pie. So I'm carefully going to pull it off the baking sheet there we go but it's time now to cut into our pie can't wait now how's that for a slice that's beautiful and if you like pears this is the pie to make hey another great recipe I hope you'll give it a try leave me a comment below one way or the other listen if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.